My name is Corrine Driesendorp and I direct the Rapid Inventory Program at the Field Museum. And we are at Camp 5, our last camp in uh, the Rapid Inventory of the Guaypi region, which is a region that spans three countries, Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia. We are now in Peru. And we've done two campsites in Ecuador uh, together with the Kofan indigenous people, one campsite in Peru with the Sequoias, and now two campsites in Peru along the Guaypi and Putumayo rivers. So we've actually spanned two countries, worked with uh, a handful of indigenous groups. We have scientists from Ecuador, scientists from Peru, scientists from the U.S. This um, has been an incredible team effort. Um, I should point out that none of these inventories work without having a great, great team. We have um, the advanced team that goes in early and sets up the camps. We have uh, the team of scientists. And these are a real mix of people who are experts who have spent 20, 30, 40 years in the tropics and people who um, know perhaps an area locally very well and are just starting out. Um, and that mix of, of expertise, people who know the local flora and then people who know the broader context of the Amazon basin is what makes these inventories happen. Beyond that, um, the number of people involved is really extraordinary because you have local communities, you have indigenous groups, we have a whole social inventory team that is right now um, visiting local villages, local communities, and finding out their uh, strengths and their how they're organized, how they manage natural resources, and how um, how they can be involved in a really integrated way in the conservation of this area. And then there are the local governments, both in Ecuador and Peru. There's um, the national governments in Ecuador and Peru, and then involving Colombia, a place that we haven't visited during this inventory just because it's too dangerous, but there's lots of political goodwill.